and you go within. You go within. Got a few cards coming out. Dealing with the curse. You know how healing the energy because you, if you heal your, this is what's happening. So, first of all, curse wise, you got the Ten of Sticks, and, most, and that's considered the Ten of Wands in this card. So, you know, burden, you know, you feel you had to pick up your wines and, and, and carry on. You were leaving, even though you were looking for your nine of pentacles, your happiness. And this, you know, this is a twin flame. <laughs> this is a twin flame conversation. So, because I see these birds, you know, here. So, you know. It affected your relationship with your twin flame, and it caused a brief separation. This is eight, eight of um, cups. Eight of cups mean you leave, and not only, I mean, you, you left, and you left in this kind of manner, tore up some stuff. Even though you wanted the two of cups. But something happened. You felt burdened. You felt burdened because you were trying to get get those nine nine of pentacles. You was trying to get that that happiness, that money. Wow. Oh, the over. The extra card is the Eight of Pentacles, and so you're building, you know, that's the overall theme. So while you were trying to build or deal with the curse, because we're talking about curses, building the strength to get over the curse, you had to, you know, you had to, you were burdened because you were trying to get your, get your Pentacles, your money up. had to walk away from your twin, your twin flame. Why? Because of stinginess. You were stingy. Even though you were, you know, you were trying to move forward, but you couldn't. You couldn't move forward. Because you had your seven of swords, so it was a lot going on. So you had heartbreak going on, even though you wanted to be with your person, you know. And you just stood, laid there. With you know, you you, you just went into cocoon mode with your one sword, even though your heart was broken with your twin flame. So you're just sitting here in cocoon mode. Why? Because of some type of devil energy. And that whatever that curse was. You have to deal with that devil energy. You're going to have to deal with it. Whatever it was. And it's interesting because you had your ten of, ten of wands because of you know your four cups and you were trying to move forward you were trying you know um, and your eight of cups you went in the eight of cups and then you went into your little hermit. This is a hermit mode. Tra transforming. You know. 
So that's why you left. You had to go into this mode. And the devil energy was in the relationship some type of way. Let's, um, I'm gonna, you need to leave out. Um, I'm gonna clarify these. It's pretty, pretty deep. So, you know, you're not dealing with the curse, you know, even though you were trying to build something, had a lot of issues going on, you know, you had devil energy, and you went into cocoon mode. Mm. Let's keep going. Let's see. Okay, so... To um, clarify this ten of, ten of Wands and the Four of Cups, you had death. So, you know, how you can heal this is to transform. How you can deal with dealing with the curse is to transform. This is death. And death of the old so that you can have something new. And that's a number 10. It's a, no, it's a number, uh, number 13. Sorry about that. So it's a four. You know, so you can be, you know, you can be successful with this. This is an, uh, once you do the, tra you know, transformation, you know, it can help you to deal with your inner child. That's what you have to do. And let's see. How we can clarify this next Wow, we can clarify the um, nine of pentacles, and the son of the son of pentacles is the knight. It's considered the knight in the traditional tarot. By becoming the magician, you can get you can get the nine. You know, if you deal with the heal, if you heal, you can you know by becoming the magician, you can do it. Okay, let's see. Moving. So how can we deal this eight of cups and sevens and eight of swords? Two eights. Heartache and separation. that and you they were out in the cold once you walked away out in the cold five of pentacles so let's clarify this devil and two of cups I'll take that they're at saying you can use the two of wands make the decision to move to, you know I don't know two of wands means moving together you're making you know a decision to do things together make the plan but make the plan how what kind of plan um Oh, 
know, move forward. Saying by moving forward with the King of Wands. Okay, so if you're moving forward using your King of Wands strength, because the King of Wands at your masculine side, you know, even though you can look at it as your masculine side, or um, because we have male and female within us both, you can use that ability to move forward to get past this devil energy. Or if you want to use this as a love, as I'm not using it as a love, but if you want, if you want to look at it from that viewpoint, you can move forward with your King of Wands. You can move forward that way. But anyway, um, overall, what I would like to, um, I want to see at last with the um, about this, what the ancestors have to say finally, you know, in dealing with. family curses you know if you deal with it get the healing that you need how can you move forward forgiveness wow you know if you deal with this issue you have to forgive you know, if you can't forgive, it's going to cause the um, issue to fall, um, fester as well. So, you know, that's especially important for you to deal with your inner child so that you can go back to that um, moment in time, you know, and talk to that child and, and tell, you know, tell the child what they need, need to hear here. Let's, um, let's read that one. forgiveness worthy and peace so once you go back into your inner child you can tell the child that they will they're um excuse me you can forgive them and forgive the others or you know forgive family you know whatever whatever whoever wherever however forgive all of that and know that you are worthy and so that it can allow you to have peace um, I think, you know, this is paramount what it's saying, but let me actually read it. That's just me just reading, you know, looking at, looking at it face value. The hardest act of forgiveness is the act of forgiving oneself. In the future, trusting in the future. The act of forgiveness is a deed of generosity that is often difficult to afford to those who have hurt us. Those who can free the darkness of an unforgiving spirit are rewarded with a sense that only a peaceful heart can experience. The Aboriginal Dreaming Totem, totem says, The forgiveness is a challenging act to undertake, as it means having the ability to understand the humanness of ourselves. The words of forgiveness are only worthwhile when they are demonstrated with the kindness of forgiving yourself so you know when you go back you know when you're healing with yourself you have to forgive yourself first before you can even deal with the others I don't know what I did it looks like everything is crazy okay well, anyway um, uh, what do I want to do I'll do this, um, the Thoth, you know, for Twin Flames. I'll do the last little clarification for this. And then I can see what the, um, couple of other things that I want to talk about. So, this is what the Thoth says. in dealing with, um, dealing with the, um, keep going I keep going blank somebody don't want me to talk about this curses because I am going to talk a little bit more about curses um, if you talk if, you know if you deal if you go inside and deal with your you know deep inside and deal with your inner inner child you'll have gain you'll have gain 
because you'll you gain more self confidence, more strength, um, mental strength, you know, to deal with other things as they come. Because this isn't, you know, you're going to be doing this for for your life. <clears throat> this isn't a um, you deal with it one time and then that's it. It'll also help you obtain abundance. You know, most people think abundance is money, but it's abundance spiritually, mentally, health-wise. You know, once you deal with these inner child issues, it will benefit your life. And it will also, the moon came up, and it will help you to, you know, know that there are some hidden, the hidden things that were going on. You'll, you'll find out what those hidden things were, and they will allow you to, um, Look in and 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 feel some, you know. How, you know, I've never seen this card before, so I'll just say for the moon. And I don't really know all of these symbols. I need. I have a picture of these symbols. That's a shame for me to even say this, but I have a picture. I'ma learn what these symbols are, so that I can um, tell you for sure. You know, but the moon has a lot of things that are hidden there and you'll be able to see and it looks like with the moon that looks like the sun so you know some of the stuff you'll learn some more things that were hidden from you um because by not dealing with the issues you were defeated it was a lot of defeat and this was you know generations you know curses last for generations you know so a lot think of all the generations before you that didn't even think, didn't even want to try to deal with that issue. They were defeated. And if you deal with it, you can actually clear your generational curse. People don't believe that, but you can. You can, you can clear it up. But you have to go back and deal with it. And it's painful. Um, and this will allow you to have your Ace of Cups, which is an emotional, it will help you emotionally. That looks like, you know, uh, this, this, you know, um, back in the old days where they strike gold and all that oil would come up. That's what this picture reminds me of. Yeah, you have your Ace of Cups. You're passionate. You'll be able to begin passionately, emotionally. Cups are emotions. Let me get it right. Cups will help you emotionally. Um, it's pretty interesting and you know the overall reading was overbuilding so if you deal with the, the issue of curses that will help you now um, how would if I want to I got these Kipper cards everybody got the Kipper cards I had to get some too I um, think they're pretty cool um, can you give a little mini mini story oh wow sudden wealth if you deal with your inner child on these curses curse things you'll get this sudden wealth I'm gonna pull out five of them let's see what happens unless they want to unless they might not want to give me no more because that one jumped out oh wow And if you're in your twin, if you're if you're looking at this as a uh, twin, you know, as a, a love uh, reading, that's the main female. Who is that? You. All right, dealing with these curses. If you go into your inner child, how can you? Lovers. Wow, marriage. A lot of people were affected by these curses, by the, you know, and, and a lot of this stuff. It's interesting. I got something else to say. No, I'm not taking all that. I only want one more. Community. So what I get from this, you know, curses affect wealth. You know, because people are stuck 
and stunted so they're not able to build wealth. And a lot of times, the main female, you know, uh, how do I want to say this? Uh, some people is a curse of being the other woman. So, you know, if you deal with your issues of um, inner child, you won't have to deal with being the side chick. You know, the other person. You know, you'll be lovers with your person, your, your mate, your husband marriage dealing with these curses affected all this stuff and it definitely affects community definitely does um what else do i want to do i had i have two other two other cards i'll do um overall the healing for this deal with this one first the divas what kind of healing medicine would help them deal with the family curses what kind of medicine healing you heal your family bloodline and it's green so it's you'll heal your heart let me see what it actually says in the book though malachite oh wow it will heal all the chakras and what it does, the divas of Malachi have shown up for you today to share that profound healing is occurring in your life right now. They have heard your prayers for help and are shining their love and healing medicine upon you. The divas urge you to be patient and gentle with yourself and accept you are deserving of this love. You may have been feeling unwell, had an injury, or a more serious sickness. This card indicates relief is coming and healing is at hand. Do what you can to help in this healing process. You may be receiving a constant message to slow down, relax, and start to make more healthy choices around your food and lifestyle. It is important that you, open, that you are open to hear the intuitive message from your soul. It is important to listen and action these changes to assist your healing process. For deep, tangible healing to occur, all aspects of the mind, body, and spirit need to be addressed. The body has an innate intelligence to heal itself, and all you have to do is get out of its way. You can do this by addressing and healing any old, stale emotions and feelings, curses, and expand beyond any out-of-date belief systems. You are being encouraged to let go of ways and let the light of healing into all aspects of your being. Be loving and patient with yourself as you embark on this powerful journey. Wow. And these other, I like these because they're a little stronger. Can we heal this curse, family of curses? How can we heal the child, inner child of curse? How can we heal the inner child because of the curse? Nirvana Quartz. see that it looks blurry to me but it's number 29 and 
this is con this is considered a cosmic crystal and it's for enlightenment. Nirvana quartz assist in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss consciousness. So a lot of karmic, because of curses, a lot of karmic situations. And I didn't even think to talk about that. So this would deal the, heal the karmic issues, bringing light and bliss, bliss consciousness. For many lifetimes, you have been working with your karma that is now past. There is no need for restitution nor punishment or guilt. Let those go so that you can recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the karmic round and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Healing light. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. And the frequency of this um, of this uh, crystal is exceptionally high, and it's for the highest crown chakra. And the timing is, is during Pisces and the soul path, embodying enlightenment on Earth. The last thing I want to do is um, before I let you all go, you know, because. I'm pretty radical. I'm a, um, I'm a rebel, you know. I'm, I'm slowly gaining my footing here on YouTube, um, even though I only have one viewer, one, no, one subscriber. Let me say it like that. I only have one subscriber, but each time that I come on here, I, my goal is to, you know, become a little bit more organized in my thoughts so that I can give a message that, you know, is healing that's worthy of being talked about, that can be shared. Um, you, may, you probably have heard the messages that I'm talking about from other readers, and they may explain it a certain way, but everybody has a way of talking to get their group. You know, what you might hear, might have heard from someone else. They said it in a way for the people that are with them to accept it and vibe with them. I'm hoping that I say my messages in a way for people um, to gravitate towards me. Maybe I'm saying it in a way that they can relate to more readily. Um, there's no wrong or right, you know. This, I appreciate you all stopping by. Um, if you feel like, you know, if you have comments, pros and cons, you know, anything you want to add to what I have to say, you know, it's always um, appreciated and I have no problem with that. If it's going to be negative, you, um, you know, I don't have time for that. But, um, I'm troll wise, that's what I mean. So, 